last time on Up Close and Personal. Alright, it's ugly on the breach, folks. Ugly on the breach. Well, inconspicuous, you had a nice run. Wasn't enough to, to do it, though. Okay, Captain Green, can you avenge him? Let's use your knife. Dang it. <laughs> so far, I'm rather unimpressed with these knives. I mean, they say 60 damage, but really? Three hits and not dropping it? You gotta be kidding me. Greetings and salutations. This is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this fifth episode, we are going to continue. In our last episode, we just finished capturing a landed UFO while taking heavy losses. We'll get into that a little bit. Uh, the The good news is we captured some in, some incredibly important gear in the Geoscape, our U, our interceptor, and our. Uh, our Marbazir transport and our Kota Company interceptor are returning to base with the gear, but uh, we lost some fine soldiers. Now, one of the cool things about the m about the game is memorial. Now, in Open XCOM, you've got an actual memorial of your soldiers that have. Uh, that have been lost throughout your campaign. How many soldiers you've recruited and how many you've lost. So at this point, we lost six all on the 20th of January. Inconspicuous, furtive, Doc, GI, Captain Green, one of our veteran soldiers, and Jody. All were lost pretty much in the breach. GI died from, a, from an across-the-map shot by a, a lucky floater, but the others all got chewed up by the buzzsaw it was that ugly breach <laughs> but one of the cool things you can do is you can actually open up you can look at their kind of what they what they did you can see how many missions and how many kills and um in the in the memorial so that's kind of nice but the other cool thing is with the stats and commendations or the uh, soldier diaries mod you actually get this in their memorial too so it shows you where the mission was how many kills were he got two floaters a navigator and a soldier all by shooting with a pistol let's take a look at furtive he got a soldier with a pistol doc navigator with a pistol gi a soldier with a pistol and captain green got two soldiers one with a combat knife and one with a grenade Jody won with a grenade and back to Inconspicuous. So that's one of the cool things. Now let's look at awards. So Order of the Fallen, given to a soldier to honor their death and their commitment to the defense of the earth. So this is the, the medal that any of our soldiers that die will get. And Captain Green also got a few more extra. So he got Order of the Hammer given to a soldier who has killed alien soldiers of all kinds and I'm not sure that this is actually correct <laughs> I'm not sure why this is this is there sometimes I've found that this mod kind of erroneously assigns um, awards then we have bolts cross given to a soldier who has used non-lethal force to take down important targets and if we look at his kills, he killed one with a combat knife, and maybe that's considered non-lethal? I'm not sure. Maybe it has a hard time. And it's only um, soldiers here, so, you know, I would think that maybe a stun, and you, you can see stuns here, maybe a stun on a navigator would count as, uh, yeah, like Doc got a stun um, on a navigator. Maybe that would count for that award. But, uh, you know, even if the award's wrong, I still think it's really cool. <laughs> so, Captain Green, your sacrifice has not been forgotten. You have an, an incredible memorial in our, in our game with some awesome awards. Posthumously awarded, I would say, but uh, awarded nonetheless. So, that's a cool, a cool, cool mod. Uh, one of the other things that you get from this is you actually get a score. A score um, added up from the missions that were that were given, so that you were participated in. So that's kind of cool. Um, so anyway, congratulations, 
very uh, I want to thank you guys for your service and Captain Green I want to thank you especially for signing up to be on the roster um, this may not be your only appearance in the series uh, one of the good things that we discovered in our previous series was there was the capability sometimes to uh, co-opt alien cloning technology so there may be a chance that um, if we can develop that same technology that you uh, we may be able to take your DNA sample that we got when you uh, were inducted into the force and um, work up a new clone from you but we'll, we'll have to see how that goes but anyway thank you so much all right so that's the memorial while we are at it let's uh let's go ahead and take a look at the barracks here now we've got a few new squatties to um to promote and to uh to give them their real name so that is exciting so let's see here we've got can man 98 Man 98 welcome to the force all right what have you got here you have decent time units which is good uh, fire accuracy Meh. Ooh, heavy that's good you'll be able to throw things and good accuracy you're gonna be a primary grenadier you've already got two kills uh, let's take a look at your record here your kills were with a grenade and a pistol nice work two floaters good job Ooh, one of them was an engineer good job uh, no awards at the moment okay and uh, let's see here, Renegade, Kiyabura, you guys both did good there, uh, Mudmasher, welcome to the force, you, my friend, are Meridian, after uh, revealing your, um, your true identity, um, reactions, 53, uh, you asked for a soldier with decent reactions, you got good bravery, that's good, firing accuracy is good, you are looking uh, very nice, M uh, strength is going up, which is awesome, so you are good, let's see your record, you've got two missions under your belt, you've got a floater with a pistol, that's awesome, no awards at the moment, okay, but looking good, looking good, okay, and uh, last but not least, we have Vasilis. Vasilis, welcome to the force, my friend. Okay, you've got uh, no kills, but two missions. Interesting. Um, heavy soldier, which is good. Uh, you know, decent, decent strength. You'll be able to throw things far. Good firing accuracy, which is good. Decent stamina. Reactions are pretty good. Bravery, well, it's okay. I'm not that concerned about that stuff at the moment. And time units, you need more experience. So we need to get you shooting at things, especially with that accuracy. Your uh, pistol shots will probably be pretty good. Your record right now, missions, couple missions, no kills or stuns, and no awards. All right, let's just, while we're in here, uh, take a look at if anybody else has awards on the force. I don't think anybody does so none of our um, none of our regular troops uh, our living troops have uh, received any awards uh, let's do take a look at the kills though kill records by anybody uh, okay so we got two kills by by can man nice nice work got saw that uh, renegade has one kill Kia Burra has a kill Marinian has a kill and Vasilis none okay so good work you guys good work nice to have you on board so there's our run through the barracks we need to get these the rest of the troops assigned to Marbazir, and we need to sell some jazz and buy some new troops so let's get that going all right i'm gonna go ahead and link up our our sales here and i'll bring you right back derp it would help if i was in the purchase if it, i would help if i was in the sell sack screen <laughs> not the purchase screen okay we're getting a decent haul from that effort uh picked up a couple mine probes which is nice i'm gonna hang uh we picked up three i'm gonna hang on to one um this may help us down the road to get some better targets uh gonna sell off all the flutter corpses but one the uh, weapons all the heavy plasmas we only got one but we're selling them all off gonna keep one rifle and one plasma clip for later research 
picked up some more plasma pistols, which will be good. And that brings us to about 1.2 million. Sell all that. Let's purchase. Now, I had 18 soldiers before, and being as how this is turning out to be a fairly manpower intensive operation, I think that might be a good thing to pick up that many again. And might as well refill some of our grenade stock. Those are useful. We've got proxies. Let's grab a few more proxies. Uh, and maybe some more high explosives. And a couple more stun rods. Because those are useful. All right. Okay. So that is looking good. All righty. Geoscape, let's get our our boys back. Yay! So everybody's home. We have taken care of the stuff. Oh, I did want to mention one thing about this last episode. Um uh, let's see if I can do this here. Game options. Yeah, I can't do it right here. Uh one of the things I wanted to mention is that one of the mods that I had set up initially, I had turned off in the last episode. Luke's Extra UFOs mod, which is a really pretty incredible mod that changes the layouts, provides more layouts of uh, UFOs. So that UFO that we assaulted was the classic large scout. And if you play the original game, you assault so many of those. It's, you know, they're, they're flying all the time. You're shooting them down all the time and you're attacking them all the time, it gets so repetitive. So that whole one door into the two doors on each wing and the central chamber, that's all just that classic UFO floor pattern. Now, what you, what you get with Luke's extra UFOs is different floor patterns. So the next one we see will probably be different. And the one that, um, that Meridian is tackling in his series is a different floor plan than the one that we just did. So uh, I just wanted to mention that that's what's going on there. Okay. All right. So I think at this point, let's get moving. The next thing we probably have going on is we probably have either a research breakthrough or a Terra mission coming up at the end of the month. Aha. Alien alloys. Good. Alien alloys, uh, it's what the aliens make stuff with. Okay. We can now research the Zapper Electroshock Weapon and Personal Armor. Both of those are very, very good. Now, I've been going back and forth and back and forth on which way I want to go <laughs> with my research. Which, which path do I want to take? Um, hmm... So I got that now. I think really what I have to do, although I want to make both of these, I, I need both of these. I I need personal armor and I need the the what, what can I what I can get beyond that. But I also kind of can't really afford to just leave engineers idling. So I'm gonna go ahead and research the laser pistol and um, get that going. Um, that way we can at least be manufacturing some laser pistols that we can use and or sell. Okay, so that's good. All right, we got some gear arriving. Fine. Keep going. 21st of January. We're going to get some scientists in and some soldiers on the 23rd. Good. Let's add those scientists. Good. We're making good progress. We should get this like in the next day. If it's excellent progress... Oh! A new UFO. Hmm. Ah, it's, an, it's coming up tonight as well. I would love to capture another UFO. The other option is just to shoot it down and get a few more corpses because we don't really need a bunch of stuff, but still, every... I, we, we got the UFO power source, which is one of the most important things for a research prerequisite. So we've got that already. Uh, and it looks like he's heading away. I don't know that we'll actually be able to capture him. Let's get Koto Company out on him anyway. See if we can capture him. He's probably going to disappear over the North Pole. Yeah. 
it probably um, a lot of times what they do is they enter and leave the atmosphere at the North Pole so even if Koto gets here um, his path was like this let's just follow it over a little ways I don't know that that uh, he's actually even around he may be gone I'm gonna swing Koto back into Europe here just follow that path anything laser pistol complete excellent okay good so that's our classic laser pistol uh, laser beam it has auto shot it's that's pretty good um, the accuracy is not great the time unit costs are higher than the standard pistol I think so I don't know that we're gonna be using a lot of laser we're gonna be using the laser pistol as heavily initially but that's good. We won't be researching the laser rifle at least anytime soon, and we won't be making any. However, let's get back to our progress here. Personal armor. Let's get that going. That is an important, important project. Okay, let's make some laser pistols. They shoot laser beams. Start project. Ten of you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can you can right click on increase and it will put it on infinite and you can sell it so it'll automatically just sell every laser pistol we make. I'm debating whether or not I should make a run of these first to keep and then start selling them. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just start selling them and one of the cool things you'll see is on the geoscape when you're doing this you'll see your money because uh, I've got this option turned on you'll see your money drop a little bit as you pay for the materials to build one and then increase when it sells so as you're fast forwarding through time the the money just bumps up and up and up which is kind of a cool feature uh yeah I don't you know what dude I don't think you're gonna capture that sub you're gonna or that find that UFO and um, just gonna say this right now for any of my viewers that uh, that um, are watching that have not watched my tear from the deep series the reason I call both call the enemy craft subs is because I've been playing tear from the deep since January got 101 episodes published 102 will probably publish this next week too it's a uh, 50 minutes I've got to chop down of the very 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 final last mission uh, it's a, a ton of fun so if you haven't watched it I invite you to watch that series I'll tell you right up front that the from the very beginning I think the production values go up a lot. <laughs> I kind of laugh at the original um, recordings that I made and stuff. I was still figuring a lot of stuff out and my sound values, um, getting all that right. But uh, from the first episode to the 10th episode, I think there's a huge improvement. But from then on in, I, I it's, uh, it's a ton of fun. I've, I've had fun making them. I've had fun with my viewers enjoying and taking part of them and uh, I'm looking forward to more of the same in this series. All right, uh, getting up to 26. I still don't think we've got anything major we need to do. All right, yeah, 8.34. I didn't watch that tick up, but let's fast forward time some more. 8.46, nice, going up. 8.58, making positive money, positive money. All right, personal armor, good, the 30th of January. View reports. Okay, so this is the basic newest armor you can get. Front armor is 50, left armor is 40, right armor is 40, rear armor 30, and under armor 30. The deal is, if you are hit with this stuff, you're probably going to get wounded and you're probably going to die. You may only get wounded. So it gives you a little better than just... Now, I don't think they even have the original combat... Uh, regular combat suit that uh, UFO the, the XCOM soldiers have and that's like the armors like 15 and 10 and 10 and it's like hardly anything it, like you're wearing a paper suit but the personal armor is good now at this point what I'm gonna do is wait until the end of the month and purchase some more 
engineers. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, we've got the personal armor. I need to research power source and maybe the uh, Illyrium to work on another set of armor. And maybe it's just the power source for, the, for that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Zapper Electroshock weapon. That is one of our, um, that's one of our custom, custom mods that I actually created for this series, and uh, it will be useful. So let's go ahead and get that. So yeah, let's, we gotta get making some of that. So I'm gonna leave this project up, but just unassign any engineers, and we'll create a new project, Personal Armor. It requires four alien alloys, so we can make 11. Yeah. So let's start some production and start making... Let's start making... Yeah. Okay, 11. Sure. Yeah, let's make 11. That's what we can make right now, so that's fine. We can make some more alien allies. Now, with our only our 10 engineers, it's going to take forever. It's going to take over a month to make all that. But we will start cranking those out, and they will be useful, so that will be okay. All right. Next turn. Ooh, research completed in like a day. Wow, that was fast. Uh, let's go ahead and assign some new research. That's good. Okay, we're making good progress. Good progress this episode. Um... I'm going to go ahead and do the power source. Okay, well, let's get to the end of the month. Yay! People are happy with us. We get some extra money. Our monthly rating, 315. Eh, it's okay. That's all right. Okay. Ah! Service medals are awarded. XCOM service medals are awarded usually at the end of the month for any of your soldiers that are in, in the force. So everybody got some medals. They got a first award. And let's take a look at the graphs and see if we were missing a bunch of stuff. Okay, North America, we know they were busy there. Antarctic, uh, the Arctic, okay, they went up there. Antarctic, South America, Europe, North Africa, South Africa, Central Asia, Southeast Asia, Siberia, Australia, and the Pacific. So we've got some across the globe. One of the things I do notice is that aliens will be active in one area one month and in another area the next month so if we had them active in north america primarily this month i think we can expect them active in europe maybe next month or in asia so we should be looking at putting a new base over there a new base now our XCOM activities we actually had a higher score than the aliens uh last month so that's good that's partly why we got decent funding okay back to here let's actually take a look we have two million and it would be good to start a new base so let's go ahead now uh, these are both classic locations you put your your first base in uh, either Europe and then the other in North America so that's a, a, a good thing they both fund really well if you cover these nations the other the other option is to put it over here in Asia. They may not fund as good, but you may get more more of that alien activity. I think though I'm gonna just go with the classic and go with um, I'm gonna pop this one here in Turkey somewhere. I'm gonna work with my third ring or the second ring out, which is the large radar, which is what I'll be able to get on right away. And that'll give me a lot of Northern Africa. The other option is to... Yeah, now I'm not going to cover all of India. Alright, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to cover part of India. And leave Ireland out. We'll put it right there in Syria or Iraq. Okay, so that... Yeah, 650, that looks good. Oh, it's considered North Africa. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Okay. Let me see here. All right. That's good. Okay, the base name here is going to be... 
the XCOM subreddit. So this stands for uh, a subreddit under reddit.com, and that's the XCOM subreddit. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go with our classic, our other classic build layout here for this guy. Uh, first off, I'm going to go ahead and build a general stores and a hangar and the large radar is 800,000 um we do got to get it going and it is going to take some time i'm going to go ahead and do that uh with the mod i've got turned on it allows you to put a new a new facility next to a facility you're gonna build so it allows you to spend the money but whereas normally you couldn't build it until this one completed this it waits the 10 days and adds the 25 days so this will build out there so I've got that now over here the next thing I really would like is another lab right now I don't know. I guess I'm okay with 50 scientists. We're still going to do decent progress. I will need another workshop at some point. Hmm. I think until we get more engineers and we start maxing that out and need to build bigger stuff, we'll get more money as we as we do more stuff. But let's go ahead and get a few more engineers. And then we'll call this an episode. All right. So, 10. Ugh. Oh, this is expensive. Let's get... 15 engineers. Yep. 15 engineers. That'll give us a decent crew to help us build our equipment faster. And now we're down out of a lot of money. But um, before we close this episode out, let's take a look at our breakthrough, our custom Zapper Electroshock weapon. Breakthroughs in alien alloy science have led to a more powerful electroshock weapon than the stun rod. The Zapper is smaller and less wieldy than the stun rod but packs a higher charge. The zapper requires a cut down stun rod, stun rod and alloys for manufacture. So there's the new zapper. Um, let's go ahead and start a project but not allocate anybody to it. It requires one alien alloy and one stun rod and then it takes some time and it converts over. So that actually is kind of a cool thing. It chops down your stun rods and uh, makes them shorter. So shorter and more powerful. So instead of taking up three tiles, three spaces in your inventory, they take up two. You can put this zapper on your belt, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's been a good episode. We've got a lot of tact uh, strategic progress made. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0, this fifth episode. A special thanks, I want to send it out to Shroom Arts. Shroom Arts is the amazing artist that has let me use his work for the thumbnails that I've been putting uh, up on these uh, up on these, these series. He's got uh, a great blog site. He's a he's an artist and does a lot of really cool pixel art. I'm following him on Twitter and he does like a daily pixel art, which is really kind of cool stuff. But his um, on his blog site, he also has um, uh, di an idea, a design for an uh, XCOM remake that uh, he drew all this amazing art for. So I I really liked the art. So I I asked him if I could use it for my thumbnails for a series, and he said. Sure, he was very gracious about it. So check him out. I've got a link to his blog site in the description below. And um, check him out. Uh, follow him on Twitter. Do do some Give him some support, if you would. But uh, thank you for joining me. If you want to join the force, I invite you to sign up below. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We will see you again with episode 6 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers! <laughs>